Good morning, loves. Good morning. What? Are we get extra excited to share every day with all of you? We dance around the room on Mondays before we start because we are so excited to see all of you. Mm -hmm, my loves. So today, thank you for joining us each and every day. Today, we are going to talk about a fascinating subject, a very cool subject too. Bugs. B-U-G-S. Bugs. Oh, Christina. Don't, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. These bugs are cool. They're so cool. You know what? I was afraid of a few bugs myself, and that's okay. Because you know what? There's some bugs that we don't really enjoy. And there's some bugs that are just super duper awesome. And we're going to learn a lot about those bugs through our story today. Right? And you know what? The more we get to know them and learn more cool things about them, Miss Mel found that she didn't fear them as much. So that was really cool. And just like anything, the more we get to know uh, more about it, whatever we're afraid of, the more we actually find it really cool and fascinating and so much fun. So you know what? That's our challenge today, my loves. You know what? If you have a favorite bug, what? I'm bug-eyed. If you have a favorite bug out there, please put it in our comments today because we want to know what your favorite bug is. Or if you have a bug from our story today, we want to know what favorite bug you have from our story today. And on that note, guess who's joining us today? We are extra super excited. My heart is bursting. So is Christy. Oh my goodness, we're so excited because our favorite friend... Besides all of you, my loves, cool! <laughs> Christina's going wild! <laughs> Carl, da -da -da, da -da -da. Carl's here today, right, Carl? Oh my goodness, Carl's so excited to be here today to celebrate, today and tomorrow to celebrate Bug Week with us. Now, before we start our story, Carl, do you mind if I tell the story of how you and Christina met? Christina, you mind? It's so super awesome. Okay, so everybody knows Christina loves what kind of food? What kind of food does she love, Carl? Carrots! Ah! She goes wild every time we mention the word. Ready? Carrots! <laughs> what? So Christina and I always plant a lot of carrots for her every year, right, Carl? Because Carl comes to visit us when we do our planting too, which is really cool. So one time we were planting carrots, this was several years ago, Carl took a shortcut through our garden, right, Carl? To, when he was visiting his cousin, right? Yeah, he was visiting his cousin, and you know what? He and Christina bumped into each other. What? Oh, my goodness. Slow-mo hug. <laughs> How cool is that? You know what? At first they were afraid of each other, but then they got to know each other because Carl actually told Christina that he loves carrots too. What? And they're both kind of furry too. Yeah, they both have different fursets. And you know what? They got to know each other and they got to share the things they like and share different things about each other that were super duper cool. And they appreciated each other even more. So how cool is that? What? So, Carl, thank you for joining us today. Oh, my goodness, buddy. Did we miss you so, so much? Let's give him a dive bomb hug, Christina. Oh! <laughs> we miss you so much, buddy. Oh. So, today, we are going to share that story with you, Creepy Crawly Calypso. And in it, my loves, we are going to share some amazing fun facts of each one of our bugs we see in our story today. How cool is that? Carl, the first one is all about you, buddy. Spiders! <laughs> he gets very excited. <laughs> Spiders. He's our favorite arachnid. <laughs> well, my love, would you like to sit down for our story today? Yeah, let's sit down for our story today, okay. <clears throat> so our story today, Creepy Crawly Calypso. And what is a Calypso? Well, Calypso is a band, a Caribbean band, and they have different types of instruments, which is really cool. So if you get this book out at our libraries through Curbside Pickup or at your local library, you can see in the back all the instruments a real live Calypso band uses. And we're going to see those instruments too today throughout our story. And you'll also get some other cool bug effects too. Creepy Crawly Calypso, <clears throat> written by... Tony Langham and illustrated by Debbie 
harder. What? Creepy crawly calypso. Creepy crawly calypso. I'm dancing right away because we're going to see so many different instruments. If you like good music, if you want a super good treat, just hear those creepy crawlies play their cool calypso beat. We can bang them. Number one, first comes the spider. What? Banging steel drums. Now, what's super cool about a spider? Let's learn a fun fact about a spider. You know what? Spiders, there's our spider right there. Oh, so, so cool. How cool is that? Spiders, do you know they're real superheroes? Like, I know some of you, oh, who hasn't heard of Spider-Man? Do you know that spider webs, when they do their cobwebs, are have spider silk? Their cobwebs are made of spider silk. And spider silk is stronger and tougher than steel. What? Mind blown. That's super amazing. So we see how many spiders in our story today, my loves. Put up your finger. What spider? Good job. Oh my goodness, now our book has butterflies. So when a butterfly lands on your arm, my loves, they're giving you butterfly kisses. So remember that. It's not a little scary. It's actually a compliment to you. Number two, butterflies. Can we count them? One, two. Second comes the butterflies with accordions. What do you know? Here's it. I'm going to throw one at you. A cool butterfly fact, my loves. Butterflies coming at you. Cool butterfly fact. Butterflies, what do we taste with? We taste with our, uh, our tongues. Do you know butterflies taste with their feet? What? Yes, I said it, their feet. They have little receptors on their feet to help them locate different types of food that they love. So, you know what? Like, Christina, she, she taste, you be able to taste with your feet. Can you imagine tasting with your feet? How cool is that? So, how many do we have again today, my loves? Two butterflies. One, two. Now, three. Third come the cockroaches playing saxophones. They're cockroaches. Now, cockroaches. <clears throat> I'll give it up to cockroaches. There is a cool fact about cockroaches. One, of course. Do you know a cockroach... Here's a picture of one. What? Do you know a cockroach can hold its breath for 40 minutes underwater? So if a cockroach falls into water, it can hold its breath for 40 minutes. What? What? How amazing is that? I gotta give it up to them. That's a pretty cool fact. So how many cockroaches do we see in our story today, my loves? Can you count them for me? One, two, three. They're playing that saxophone like crazy. Now how many? Dragonflies! Miss Mel and Christina and Carl this week saw some dragonflies in the garden. And how cool are they? They're so beautiful. Four comes the dragonflies blowing their trombones. Four. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four. Now, what's a cool fact about dragonflies? What? <clears throat> Thank you, Christina. There is a big picture of a dragonfly. Look at how big their wings are. Their wingspan is really large. Do you know there are so many different types of dragonflies and dragonflies from long, long ago in the prehistoric area, they used could have a wingspan up to two feet. That's huge! And dragonflies, most of the dragonflies head is pretty much all eyes. It's their eye. So they have incredible vision. They have amazing vision to see what's in front of them and what's to see feet, uh, several feet away from them. So how cool is that? Go dragonflies, that's amazing. What's our next buggy? Everybody excited to see? Fireflies, five fireflies with brass trumpets to two. How many fireflies do we see in our story today? Five, let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. What? Let's see a big picture. Thank you, Christina. A big picture of fireflies. What? How cool is that? <clears throat> now, hey, Mama Tina. <laughs> love you, love you. Aww. So fireflies are so extra super cool. I know what you're going to say. What are you going to say? Because their butts light up. What? They got lightable butts. <laughs> So fireflies, what's a cool fact about fireflies? Let's learn it together. 
Miss Mel's going to teach you a new word today. Christina Bunny and I are. I are. <coughs> and it's called bioluminescent. Can you say that together with me? Bioluminescent. Let's say it one more time. Bioluminescent. That means they are able to produce their own light. So bioluminescent means they can produce their own light and they produce their own light from their bud. What? <laughs> fireflies are extra cool. <laughs> so those are five fireflies, my loves. Now here, does anyone know what these are? Oh my goodness, they're ants. That ant, that ant, that ant, that ant, that ant. What? Six ants. Can we count them together? Oh, that's awesome, Lisa. Thank you for sharing that. We love lightning bugs too. Oh my goodness, they are so super cool. We love chasing them in the summer. Oh my goodness, everything in the garden is lit up. So six ants today. Can we count them all together? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, wait a minute. My mind is blown by this. <clears throat> Ants. Here's another super cool fact about ants, my loves. Here's our cool close-up shot of an ant. How cool is that? That ant. Thank you, Christina. They have super duper strength. Now, I know some of us have heard of the superhero Ant-Man. Well, bugs have super, super duper strength. Do you know they can carry things? There are so many different types of ants, and depending upon the ant, they can carry 10 to 50 times their own body weight. Ants are super duper strong. They're super tiny, but can carry 10 to 50 times their body weight. How cool is that? What? How amazing is that? So our world is so super amazing. Learn new things every day. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We love our ladybugs. Now here's a cool fact about Miss Mel and Christina Bunny in our garden. Every year in early spring, we let loose some ladybugs we get from a farm. And you know what? <clears throat> we order them from a farm. So we get let loose some ladybugs into our yard because they help eat all the bad pests all the bad buggies that eat our plants from our vegetables and our flowers. So they're natural pest getters, our ladybugs. So thank you, ladybugs, for protecting our flowers and protecting our fruits and vegetables because we just planted those and we need those around. So ladybugs can also eat up to 5,000 insects in their lifetime. What? Thank you, ladybugs. Thank you so much. What? And all the pests in the garden. So they naturally eat all those, those pests in the garden that aren't so good for our plants. That is cool. And how many ladybugs do we have strumming their guitars today? Have you ever seen a ladybug strum a guitar? Well, now you have. <laughs> how cool is that? What? I, would, I would love to see that in our garden. How many ladybugs did we release, Christina? <clears throat> I think we released over 1,500 ladybugs on each one of our plants. And I tell you what, I would have loved to have seen all of them strumming a guitar. <laughs> so let's count them in our story today, my loves. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ladybugs strumming their guitars. Thank you, ladybugs. Oh, what's our next one? Crickets. Crickets are so super cool. That's a close-up shot of our crickets today. Eight crickets. Came the crickets, the band's marimba stars. That's a marimba. How cool is that? It's almost like a little xylophone. How cool is that? It's so neat. It has different tones for each bar and the smaller tone all the way to the larger tone that goes boom. What crickets? What every species of cricket has a cool different kind of chirp. So when you hear crickets outside in the summer months, each of them has a different type of chirp. And do you know how they start that chirp going? Well, we're going to tell you. They rub their wings together. How cool is that? So whenever you hear a cricket chirp, you know they are rubbing their wings together to make that chirp to other crickets. It's how they communicate. How cool is that? Now, what's our next buggy? Is everybody excited? Beetles! There are so many different types of beetles. There are nine beetles. Beaten Congo drums loudly. Boom, 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 boom. Let's count them together, my loves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine beetles. What? We're, thank you, Christina. We're going to get a close-up shot of a beetle today. 
What? How cool is that? It almost has horns. And you know what? The beetle we're going to show you in our craft today is known as a rhinoceros beetle because they have the extra big horns. Now, beetles have body armor. Just like knights in shining armor, they have body armor too to keep their wings protected. How cool is that? They have a special type of armor that separates to let their wings come out to fly. How cool is that? And their wings are so fragile that their body armor closes again when they're not flying so that they can protect their wings even further. How cool is that? Cool fact, beetles! Now we're coming up to 10. What's lucky number 10? Centipedes! Centipedes, let's count them together, my loves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Centipedes tinkling the piano very proudly. Tinka, tinka, tinka. Centipedes are actually a cool, cool bug. Look at all those legs. Now, whenever centipedes lose a leg, they actually regrow them. They regenerate their legs, and they reg which means they regrow their legs. How cool is that? And you know what is even extra cool? Centipedes are actually an ancient bug. They were around over 400 million years ago. What? 400 million years? I can't even, that's amazing. I, I, I think I would lose my breath counting that long. What? So how cool was that book today, my loves? Creepy Crawly Calypso. Now, if you get this out, this awesome book out in any one of our libraries, you can get an audio CD with it, which plays you some Calypso, Caribbean Calypso music which is super duper awesome because we love Calypso bands. And it shows you in the back of the book some of the instruments that a Calypso band uses. And it also shows you in the back of the book all the bugs we talked about today and some awesome, awesome extra facts and fun facts about those bugs. So check those out, my loves. Get this out at our libraries or your local library for curbside pickup. It's awesome. And we learned so many cool, fun facts about bugs. We want to introduce you to one more. <laughs> bug that you're going to see in our gardening video on Thursday. We're going to air that on Thursday afternoon and in that video you're also going to see one of these amazing creatures, a bumblebee. How cool are the bumblebees? Now also Thursday is World Bumblebee Day. So we are celebrating these amazing pollinators and as we talk about pollinators which means these guys go from flower to flower to flower and get nectar and pollen from the flowers and they spread that pollen to each other flower fruits and vegetables and other flowers which helps make those flowers grow so let's give a big shout out and thank you to all of our pollinators bumblebees hummingbirds butterflies all those amazing pollinators that make our amazing mother earth full of flowers and fruits and vegetables for us to eat and enjoy Thank you, pollinators. What? You're superheroes in our book. So we're going to see this. You're going to be able to see a cool picture of this bee on Miss Mel's Hydrangeas on Thursday afternoon. So check that out. Thank you, pollinators, our bumblebees. Now, my loves, Miss Mel always recommends if you ever see a bumblebee and you get a little afraid that the bumblebee is coming too close, never shoo it away because they're so tiny, they're scared of you too. So you know what? Let's do the bumblebee freeze. Okay, on the count of three, if you see a bumblebee, you're gonna do the freeze with me. Ready? One, two, three, freeze. And you let it fly away. Cause then the bumblebee won't bother you. So ready my loves? Let's do it again. One, two, three, the bumblebee freeze. One, two, three, freeze. Good job. Thank you, pollinators. Thank you, our bumblebees. You're absolutely amazing. You know, another cool fact about a bumblebee, too, is, and we share this in our video on Thursday, is that a bumblebee's body, as you can see from this picture, is so super big, and the rings are so super tiny. They were meant to fly, but somehow they find the determination and will to proceed and live that dream of flying and make sure that they are worker bees so that is amazing. Thank you, bumblebees. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So today, my loves, in our links today of our video, we have, in our Facebook Live video today, we have a link for you to enjoy with your parents and your brothers and sisters today, which includes, Miss Mel's going to bring it up, 
includes you go to that link, click on the link, and inside the link you can click on how to get the this template with all three of these buggies. What? We have our ladybug. You get one template you can print off from home. So click on the link we have in our Facebook Live video today above. And when you click on that link, like Ms. Mel said, you have the PDF template in there you can click on to get these amazing buggies. Now, if you print them off on regular paper, my loves, you might want to also pr uh, cut out a piece of cereal box or a cracker box or a pasta box so you have them be on some type of cardboard to give you some sturdiness to these buggies because that'll make them thicker and able to, to go a little bit longer for you. So you're going to print off one sheet that includes your ladybug, a beetle, and a rhinoceros beetle or a horn beetle. What? How amazing are these? Now you can color them in whatever color you want because they're your buggies. And you can have your own, you can be your own amazing scientist and have these amazing bugs. And you can learn more facts about these bugs too. Like we learned about our ladybugs, our pest getters, and our beetles have armor where they split these armor open and open it up to wings that fly. How cool is that? So we learned a lot about cool facts about bugs today, which were really neat. Now, how Miss Mel created these amazing leggies is that I took a piece of paper, a black construction paper, and I just cut out strips, as you can see here, of just small thin strips, maybe a half an inch long, uh, half an inch wide. And you know what? You can just cut those out yourself, but you are gonna use scissors for this project, my love, to cut out your beetles, your ladybugs, and your leggies today. So you just take a regular piece of paper and you can color it black, or you can take your black piece of construction paper and color and cut out strips to make leggies for your buggies. And then, or you can use pipe cleaners, if you have pipe cleaners at home, and you can make, you can curl these leggies like this and make amazing little extra three-dimensional leggies for your buggies. So have fun with these, my love. They're super duper fun. And you know what's really cool with these buggies today? If you make this craft today or any of the buggies we learned about today, check out some amazing bug books at our library. I know our library has some amazing and super cool bug fact books, insect books, so super cool. And we love a lot of them at our library. So check out our catalog, my loves. We have some amazing bug books for you. And Wednesday, after our story time, as always, we're going to share some amazing books, uh, children's books, all about bugs. So be on the lookout for that after our story time on Wednesday. So hope you enjoyed your story time with us today, my loves. And Carl, thank you for visiting us today, my loves. Oh, my goodness. Shout out to all of you and Angel. Oh my goodness, Carl, send and love your way, kiddo. <laughs> and Valentino, send and love your way, sweetheart. So have a great day, my loves. Right, Carl? And thank you for joining us today and every day. And we'll see you tomorrow for Bug Week. <laughs>